Welcome in. We're talking about the big four today, the four tools that we use to create forms. I would say 80% of what we do uh, as drill writers probably uses these four tools right here, the dot tool, the line tool, the arc, and the curve. Uh, there are plenty of other tools here in Pyware. I'm going to have extra uh, videos. I have some videos already on those, uh, but I'm going to spend my time today just talking to you about the big four. The first one, obviously, here is the dot tool. Now, I've made my, my menus just a little bit bigger, so hopefully you can see these. But the point tool here, the, the, the dot guy, is pretty simple. Wherever you click, you get a performer. So as you click around, you get a performer, and uh, you can change the color of the symbol. You can clone. If you don't know what clone is, it just makes uh, creates a whole other set of what you just created uh, across the midline, across the 50. Okay, you can also change that a bit. You can um, use these different relocating uh, handles and, and make multiple copies of things if you'd like. Uh, you can clone it twice, you can clone it three times, and kind of change the, the uh, orientation on the field, that sort of thing. Um, but that's you know just typically uh, found in every single menu of all of the tools here is a clone tool just in case you want to create a copy of what you're doing on the fly. Okay, and then there's just some other uh, options here. You can dim your uh, your labels and, and symbols, show relocation handle or turn it off, um, you know, that sort of thing. Okay, so that is the point tool. Now I would tell you, I use the point tool to create probably all of my scatter uh, moves. I like to use the dot tool when making block forms and small groupings because it allows me to create the form and make sure that my pathways are, are going, people, uh, people are going to the right place all in one process as opposed to creating the form and then assigning the pathway. So a lot of times what I'll do if I have, uh, say, like these 12 people here, I want them to fold into uh, kind of a block. I'll just kind of run up here and I know that I'm already choosing the right people to go to the right place. I want it to gate in that way. And I don't have to worry about, um, you know, the, the double process of creating the form, clearing it out, selecting every person uh, in their pathway and that sort of thing. So the dot tool saves me a lot of time because a lot of times I can do things all in one process. All right, our next tool is the line tool. And the line drawing tool is got uh, a lot of stuff kind of packed into it. Um, into this, this little menu here, you can, you can do quite a bit of stuff. Uh, obviously, the, the easy bit, you click on one end of the other, it creates a line. Uh, usually, it's at a, a default of a two-step interval, so you can change your positions and interval. You can clone, you know, that sort of thing. So I did 12. 12 people at a two-step, there you go, you got 12 people at a two-step between those points. Um, and you can clone it, of course, like we, we, we talked about. But one thing that uh, has kind of come in, in in the last couple updates, uh, maybe even before then, and I just didn't notice, uh, is this kind of the rise over run and these uh, these diagonal intervals, which which actually are pretty cool. Let me show you these. So essentially, you can you can pick your um, your diagonal, if you will, if you want a, a you know perfect 45 degree diagonal, and you can just you can tell it what you want. You can do rise over run, so two by two, and then it goes down two over two, down two over two. You know this type of thing. It's it's a really useful tool. Uh, whereas before you had to know that that was a 2.82 step interval, um, and even then sometimes it didn't end up exactly on, so you had to uh, type in the exact amount of positions. But this these are just nice tools. Uh, to have. Um, also, this one right here does pretty much the same thing. You just tell it the spacing and it'll it'll do it for you. So like I put five, it'll do the same thing, rise over run, uh, to get you to five steps away from e each other, you know, that original point and whatnot. So that's pretty cool. It's a, uh, those are little useful tools. If you didn't know these ones right here, these are useful. Uh, alignment usually has to do with uh, once you've created a shape, and then you want to, um, you know, create another line that it's moving to. You can um, mess around with the alignment. It's very similar, at least from what I can tell, to um, picking the pathway, like flipping the pathway. So let me show you that. So if you were creating a line where those guys were moving to right here, um, you could use alignment 
uh, to switch their their uh, orientation, which um, I, I guess has to do with how they're um, glued together. Okay, but that can also be done here, um, you know, as well in your uh, matching line. So those are the uh, you know the options here with the line tool. It's pretty straightforward. You know, obviously you can create lines vertically, uh, horizontally, or at the diagonal. Um, but I, I just thought these, especially these, um, are, are interesting uh, little tools. There's also this guy right here. Tell how many positions you want at a certain step interval. Hit a comma. Tell how many positions you want at another interval. Comma. And you can create as many different intervals uh, as you need. So, for instance, uh, you could do five positions at a three-step interval, five by three, comma, four at a two-step three positions at a seven step. Why not? Boom. And there you go. You got your three step here, five at a three step, your four at a two, and you got it. Um, I kind of like using just this method right here and typing it into here because you can see it as you're uh, building it. So like three by six, it starts to kind of do it for you. Six by two. Um, so I don't tend to use this feature here. Uh, I just tend to start doing it in the interval box. Cause I like it because it shows me as I type it in how I'm building the line. So these are all great little features to know and to play around with uh, and can save you a lot of time and headache when creating forms. All right, next up on our big four is the arc tool. And the arc tool is a very useful tool. Uh, obviously you click and click and then you show how deep you want the arc to be and then it should set you up. All right, just like line and point tool, we have our positions and our uh, our positions. Uh, in the line tool, we added the, the interval tool, so you can change your interval. Um, and then just like we learned in the line tool, you kind of have the same thing. You can fix your uh, you can fix your vertical and horizontal spacing with this tool, or you can do uh, mixed intervals using the comma method that I just showed you in the lines. Uh, your alignment, which was similar to what we learned in the lines, has to do with you know, creating a transition um, and that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, the arc tool is quite useful when you're trying to make you know, exact half circles or um, when you really want to uh, have that perfect rounded look to the end of a form or the front of a form. Uh, one neat and useful thing about the the tools that it kind of always shows you the rest of the circle when you're making an arc. I think that that's useful, especially when creating forms that connect to each other. So using arc in combination with the curve tool uh, on the next page can really help you to, um, you know, create a very through composed look. All right. So one cool thing in the uh, clone tool for the arc and I believe it's in the circle tool as well, is this tool. So you can clone your, your arc. It's going to do kind of what it usually does. It, it sets it either right on top, like mine's right on the 50, so it puts it on top of it. And you've got your usual clone. Uh, you've got your kind of your usual options where you can move them around, this sort of thing. But there's this guy right here. And this looks like uh, uh, circles, which essentially just means concentric circles. And if you wanted to make an arc form and have some concentric arcs inside it, um, there's a little easy little tool right here. You just add how many arcs you want concentrically to it and you uh, clone it and it goes right in and it looks looks really quite nice. So that's something to play around with uh, if you were creating a form at the beginning, maybe an opening set, you could save some time uh, making some concentric arcs that way. So uh, that's just a, a cool little clone feature uh, in the arc tool that we didn't have in some of the others. All right, one more tool. Let's hop into the curve tool. All right, curve tool, the final of our big four. Curve tool has all of those same um, ideas that we had in our other menus. Okay, obviously wherever you click, it's going to just start creating uh, a form based on the handles that you put down. Uh, so, you know, you go through there, you can you can change how many positions you want. You can change what you want your interval to be, that sort of thing. Cloning looks like it has uh, only you know, two options. You've got your usual mirror and then you've got your uh, kind of your free form uh, tool where you can uh, you can create it and move it and that sort of thing. 
your alignment again is there like in the others where you can um, change the the direction in which it's it's been created uh, looks like we have our, our mixed or uh, mixed interval tool there uh, of course you can do that within the interval tool using commas the only thing that's kind of different about this um, tool is these these handles here this is delete half or delete last and these are definitely some things that can save you some time if you don't know what that means uh, when it says delete last or delete half essentially it's simple as you're clicking you're creating these handles if you found that you really like this form but maybe you went too far uh, you just hit delete last and it'll take you back to your other handle delete last uh, if you find that you want to um, fine-tune uh, your your form you can just hit delete half and then it'll kind of uh, get rid of half of the handles but it'll still keep the endpoints and you know the main the main ones that you you might have needed so you can uh, do that so these this is this is really quite good and then of course uh, here suspend just kind of doesn't allow you to add any more by accidentally clicking so as you're fine-tuning your form if you click suspend you won't accidentally create any more handles. So uh, you can use that when you're trying to fine tune uh, what you'd like the form to look like. So those are the big four, uh, the point tool, the arc tool, the line tool, and the curve tool. Those big four are really important uh, key components to what we do. So I really, uh, if you're new to Pyware, I just, I encourage you to play around with all these tools and just create tabs for yourself along the bottom and, and practice with them. And eventually you'll be able to move so quickly with these that there's not any type of form that's gonna ever uh, be something that you don't know how to create or create three or four different ways. So I hope this uh, tutorial has been helpful and I look forward to creating ones using some of the other uh, tools as well. So I hope this was helpful to you. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel if you like these Pyware videos.